Hey guys, it's Rob J here, and in today's video, I've got something a little bit special for you to show you. I'm really excited. It's my newest colony. It's a four queen formica colony. I bought a, it privately off Ant Keeping Forum. It's my favourite go to ant forum for all types of ant keepers, beginners to experts. Now basically, the colony was so large it had to be sent in a outworld, um, but the nest was based inside a lump of sphagnum moss. Now due to my allergies, I'm highly allergic to the dust and the sort of thing that sphagnum, dry sphagnum moss has around it. So straight away I had to move them out. So what I did is I grabbed a spare large outworld and I put moved the sphagnum moss nest into it so I had more room to negotiate. After peeling away quite a few layers I got close to the central chamber. At that point I moved, I connected it up to the nest that I wanted them to start moving into and the process started about 10 minutes after the ants discovered it they started uh, moving the eggs and whatnot. Eventually two queens walked in on their own accord and the other two queens were carried in, quite literally carried in. Um, they curled up into a ball and the workers carried them in by their mandibles. Um, it took about five hours for this colony to move in. As it moved out of the sparkling moss I removed the moss with no ants in it so until we got to this stage where it's nearly three quarters moved out in this shot and the smagnum moss ball is at its smallest it was it's ever been but it's I still let the ants do it at their own speed Once the ants had fully moved in to their new 8 chamber ant kit nest made out of acrylic with their red acrylic overlay which is removable, they for quite a long time were trying to decide where they wanted to put their brood or their larvae and that sort of thing. Eventually they settled on the sort of middle two rows and the queen settled down in and around this general area as well as the wing elates that this colony has at least four queens, winged queens walking around which are obviously unfertile, uh, infertile. Now after leaving them another hour or so to calm down it was getting time to sort out the outworld. Now all the sphagnum moss was gone I had an outworld from a previous colony that had been given a different, more suitable outworld and I had been kept it in storage after boiling water, cleaning it. So I started preparing this outworld for transfer. So first of all I blocked up the exit port and then I get ready with some cotton wool to do the same to the entrance tube. Once I had done that and also cleaned the area, it was time to introduce the outworld itself. So, like I said, this is the Ant Kit Extra Large Outworld. This is an actual old one, as you can tell keen-eyed viewers from the port itself. The style has changed since this, but all I did was reuse the tub. Now, shortly after connecting it up, about three or four workers were immediately interested and entered the outworld. 
circling the exterior boundaries, testing the PTFE, and that sort of thing. Now after 25-30 minutes of them clearly looking and foraging, but for some reason they wouldn't climb, they could, but they wouldn't climb up to discover the food. So I quickly swapped out the ant kit feeding bowl for a coin capsule which is my favourite way of feeding ants because you can buy them cheap in bulk and I just bin them. I use them one time, I use them as disposable um, feeding bowls basically. So this is their first meal. Now I know it's not a lot, it's just some brown sugar and jelly or insect jelly or protein jelly however you want to refer to it as now basically one worker discovered it uh, after coming across it and then the second worker followed him sorry should sorry say her and then two ants had discovered it now as the the pheromone trail and the message spread that food was found, a third ant quickly joined on. Now all the ants that were in the ant world have found the food. But as the message spread, more and more ants were drawn to the ant world. And eventually, about 30 ants were eating. So let's see what they look like nice and close up. Now I know it might be a little bit jerky but this was all me quite literally one hand holding the camera which is quite heavy above the ants so please bear with the quality but it is quite clear as you can see they're, they're basically eating and sort of drinking the juices the sugary syrupy excretion that the jelly has all over it and they're even just walking all over it as well now this continued on throughout the evening they uh, this must have been their first meal for a while they were very hungry but with this amount of brood um, they will be constantly looking for food there is a lot at various different stages as you can see and this is just one of the brood chambers so this is why they're so hungry should I say then they're needing to provide for their young and there's a lot of it now guys I'm gonna start wrapping up the video there if you haven't already why don't you smack that subscribe button and you won't miss out on any of my future content if you've enjoyed this video a lot, why don't you go and click that like button as it means a hell of a lot to me to see that you've really enjoyed it and feel free to reach out in the comments section below and as always guys, I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.